right now uh, we've created this uh, function and then we draw the flowchart based on this function but for your uh, for your assignment the two part assignment the first part is to draw the flowchart the second part is to write the function um, for a numerical solution algorithm that's given to you so uh, you can do it both ways you can either start with writing the code straight away or you can start with the flowchart my uh, advice is for you to work on them both but you should be able to prepare the flowchart first uh, I mean, you should be able to complete the flowchart first uh, uh, before you finish the function because uh, the function might have some bugs in it and you need to solve it but the main idea is is still correct I mean the main idea should be correct so you can draw the flowchart first so that's why the deadline for the programming function the, the flowchart is one week before the actual programming function now i'm going to show you the the rubric so the rubric looks like this this is how you be graded so this is it basically i'm going to look at whether you use the boxes and symbols in the flowchart correctly now if you use all of uh, the symbols or the boxes wrong in a wrong way yeah, you'll get zero points and then if you use uh, less than half let's say you have 10 box uh, symbols you use but then half of them or more than that is uh, incorrect then i'm going to give you 15 points if you as more than half is correct i'm going to give you 30 points if all of it is correct i'll give you 40 points and it does just it so i'll look at uh, your flowchart visually and i'll see if any of them is not used um, correctly and i see if there's too many of them then i will pick the the corresponding boxes for that for the marks or for that uh, for that flowchart so for example if we look at that flowchart just now let's see like this um where is it like this one i see um all of it is used correctly i see the start is uh, in a circle or in an oval so it's correct we didn't use a box so we didn't use a a different symbol than the circle then uh, we get this correct and i see the input there is in a parallelogram it's correct and then when i see this uh, diamond shaped block and then it, inside there's a condition and there's yes and no this is correct and so on and then there's a connector at the end where this connector is a small circle also proper use of uh, the symbol is correct everything is correct then you get 40 points so just be very careful with using the correct uh, symbols and boxes in the flowchart and you should be getting the full mark for this but um there's a even though i mention this to students all the time but there are always maybe students who uh, uh, did not do it correctly so that's when i count how many are correct how many are not correct based on the total number and then if it's more than half then you get uh, those marks like i showed you just now uh, one common example is where you forgot the yes and no um, you forgot the connector uh, you forgot the, the student forgot we use a rectangle or a box here instead of uh, for a process. We use a parallel parallelogram instead of a box for this, uh, or they use a square here. They use a rectangle here instead of parallelogram. So that's uh, clearly wrong because it's meant to be. It's meant to be an input, but they, they put it as a process. So those are counted as wrong, and I will count it, um, count them, and then see how much of it has occurred and to give the proper grade for that flowchart. What's different here right now is uh, actually should me writing a function and showed how i draw a full chart for it and then the same video um the video goes a bit a bit in uh a bit into the theory of it but then uh, less on the practical part so that's why i created uh, i mean i created this example for you to uh, show you where you can go from the theory to actually drawing the flow chart and then exporting the flow chart like how i did so that's why i uh, recommend you to use powerpoint because it's a lot easier for you to draw in powerpoint than in word but make sure that you export it as a PDF because I, I it's more difficult uh, to read a PowerPoint, not read, but then to, um, because your format of PowerPoint might be different and then some of your symbols might run away from the actual arrangement, uh, run from the actual arrangement because of, um, uh, because of uh, different si screen sizes and so on. So that's why I want you to, I, uh, it's best if you export it as a PDF where it will be static like this, but from PowerPoint.